All right, so last time we left off on uh, right about to get the Barbarian or Berserker with the Blood Scribed Skin over here. Bring Virana to the Feeded Larder at the Temple's Mouth. Once she smells the flesh, she shall return to us. As our law commands, she shall eat or be eaten. Hmm, okay. I need to keep looking. So now we got to find some sort of leader. Oh, well, that's pretty fast. But uh, in this one, we will get the final mercenary. Unless they, like, hid one away. Which would be really cool. Show the intruder the might of the steps. Oh. Oh. I break the chains. Yes. Oh! I thought we could recruit her, maybe. Yield, Wanderer. I yield. Okay. Explain herself. Stay your hand. I swear to you by the bloated worm and by the ways of my people, my life is yours to take. But first, allow me to exact my revenge upon those who have wronged me. Call me Variana. Call me mercenary. Call me butcher. My quest is to deliver my vengeance upon the cannibal chieftains who chased me from my clan. I will not die until my enemies are dead by my hand. I will not. Okay. I'm guessing we go outside or do we have to talk to her again? So much flesh. So much temptation. I need. I need to be gone from this place. Okay. How are you feeling? A bit. I've been down there so long. I could barely tell friend from foe. Glad I didn't kill you. You bested me. By the law of my people and the law of the worm. I am yours to butcher and devour. But before that happens, I must put two cannibal chieftains under my knife. Why? Because they banished me. Because they wounded my honor. Okay. Because I don't love it. I got greed. it. So we're gonna kill two. We seek Grelka, sure to be in his feasting hall. Cannibals loyal to Grelka roam the untamed scraps. At least a few must know where his hall is. Alright, it's in the cellar. Cannibals hold. So we just gotta kill two things, and I think we can recruit her, and we'll see what her skills are like. And then we can also try running a Subo as the, um, like, support. Oh, he's level 2, actually. He has a uh, upgrade. Let's go ahead and get the upgrade on Subo. We have increased damage over time from us. We don't do damage over time. It has a chance to drop a potion. Okay, that's, that's interesting. I don't think we've seen that before. salvage eventually and then we're going to get to the next one we should salvage though because we need to get uh, those tempers uh, on our items so you know what we're gonna actually go back real quick 
and then we will. Oh, you know what we can also do? This is actually a newer feature in the expansion. I probably should have explained this. So what you can do now is you can mark an area as like your main. You can right click it and it's gonna be your favorite. And anytime you TP out, it's gonna go and send you to that exact location, which is awesome. I don't know if there's any, ooh, that's a nice little bonus. Uh, thing is, is that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually get that bonus, but the plus two damage is probably still worth it. What else does it have? Uh, Dex vulnerable. Oh, it's missing another stat. I'm missing out that extra HP. We'll just keep this for now. I think that'll be okay. Let's see. Well, below a certain amount of HP. Uh, I mean, these these are very mediocre, but it's too expensive right now to put on another aspect on a thing. So that's why we're just going to salvage it. And then what we should be doing is we should be getting as much dexterity as possible. So we're going to get as many dex gems as possible. Do we have any sockets in here? Uh, let's go run this for now. And then uh, we would ideally want as many emeralds as possible, but we can craft... Oh, what is it? One, two, three, four. Four? It's 10 decks, but I still think that that's going to give us more stats than what we can use for the rune words right now. <laughs> I think it's still worth it. And then, uh, I think it'll be more worth it to actually throw in the tempering, because remember, these each one of these will cost... So we're going to hopefully, oh, you know what? You can only put one temper on, right? Oh, wait, did they change this? Wait, can we put, I want to see if we can throw in, let's throw a natural finesse. And then, ah, now we can also throw an eagle. Unless we want like a chance to deal some sort of other damage, which could actually be not bad in the very beginning. You know, think about it. It's probably a decent thing to have this because this is a hundred percent chance to hit whatever uh we get i don't really care which one we get i think this is totally fine oh so they updated it i'm so oh i'm so glad i remember i gave them feedback on this which is like you you taught us how to like do certain things and then you changed it up uh by putting in um only one oh that was not very good though okay we have distance enemies that's not really super useful want like close or crowd control is like okay but i'd rather rather have uh, another one so we want to uh, was it uh, natural finesse distance isn't very good uh, we can just get some sort of resource cost reduction okay but i want to uh... oh we don't have enough so that that's it And now we have the other cannibal. So we have to kill two cannibals and then she will join us. Oh, is there another one? What is this? Oh, we have to obtain a clue that will reveal his location. That's somewhere in here. You dare return to the land you betrayed, but... Sevotat, you see the map tattooed on the palm? Quickly now. She doesn't seem like she's very fast, though. This has to be the entrance to Grelkar's feasting hall. But maybe she'll get some abilities, or maybe it's part of the way that the NPC interacts uh, for this quest that she doesn't have like aggressive behavior. Because one problem that I can see with like just companions in general, especially when it's melee, is it's just too slow. Wise enough to stay away. Don't you dare die yet! Tell me where Zomog is! Tell me! There's still a way for me to find Zomog. But. Learn this effigy. I need to prepare. Huh? 
Oh. What is it you're doing? My people have a ritual. It can tell me what I must know, but it... Just be quiet. to do this to yourself. Don't look at me. <laughs> Wet chewing sounds. <laughs> What's next? Huron streets will be thick with Zolmog sycophants. But if we get our hands on a boat, we can enter the city by the docks. Far fewer eyes than the main gates. Okay. We're going to find a boat. Okay, th this one might be a little bit more interesting. If we have to, like, ride the boat in. Maybe go on a stealth mission. But it's really nice, also on the minimap, I've noticed one of the other quality of life things is that they added all of the like herbs and stuff to the minimap and like the iron chunks. So you can visually see them, which is great because I hated collecting those. But one thing I've also noticed is when you're on a mount, they actually don't appear. So hopefully they can actually change that. We have to find a boat over here. The worm provides. Oh, there it is. Maybe we can have a, a boat mission. You know, there was one in Immortal. We actually had like some rafts. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I was thinking we'd get to ride the boat. Oh, is this? It's just just the. This is streets of carnage. I don't know if we have to kill every enemy. It just says, find Zolmog. I think he was a loot goblin. showing off his power already but a feast is to our advantage we can lose ourselves in the crowd get close to Zolmog slit the bastard's throat before he even knows we're there 
Dang, you can see the, uh, like, the gate. It's just, it's got, like, people there. I like that, though. It's cool. Cool. Looks awesome. The land you to I wish you, you get to decide. Maybe you could decide with then, Zolmog or her, and then you, you get to keep one of them. But I won't be so gracious now. I came back for your head, Zolmog. I should have taken it years ago. I won't be leaving without it. Pay proper respect to your tyrant king, dear Variana. Perhaps I'll allow you to survive. You're not my king, Zolmog. Never my king. And I'll never be one of you again. Oh, you never lose the taste, woman. I suspect you know that all too well. Just as you know the law of our people. Eat or be eaten! We melted him so fast. Oh, now we fight Solmog. I kind of want to see if he has moves, though. Okay. Like, does he like have any special abilities or anything? Looks like he has some sort of shout. Is it just basic attacks? I'm not seeing anything cool out of him. It's done. My word is my bond. And my life. Oh, those like corpses though. Ended Zolmogs. Okay. I won't kill you. I told you. My life is yours to take. As you wish. But my offer stands. Nobody would miss me anyway. Well, maybe Ray here. No reason to linger. I'm headed south, returning to a gathering place for mercenaries in Nahantu. You need a butcher or a blade? Seek me there. Or if you change your mind about eating me. Such a weird thing, but like she just accepts it. Okay, <laughs> cool. So now, oh, we have all these things to claim. Oh, we got another skill point. All right, two more. <laughs> kind of crazy, but uh, I guess we could just get this. I mean, might as well. And we can actually get some more damage as well later. But the next point is going to be very big for us. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, we got another item over here. So what is it? Uh, distance enemies have a chance to be stunned. And then we get increased damage. Uh, Vigor and kill might not be that bad, actually. That might be the reason I actually run this. But let's go ahead and now TP back. And we are going to be able to access the last mercenary. We're going to equip her. And then we're going to also swap um, Sabo to our like uh, assist. They call it something else, but I, I just... It reminds me of like a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom when you had like the assist characters. It's a cool mechanic though. I like it. I like that it's not a button that you push. It's just like built into the character. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're gonna hire her. She swings her axes, dealing some sort of damage, and then it doesn't bleed. Selecting a mercenary core skill alters their wielded weapon and basic attack. Oh, or we can run Shockwave. She slams, deals some damage, and knocks down enemies. So, uh, this does also some bleed. So, we can do dual axes or bleed. What's the final ones? So, she can throw out three harpoons. Oh, so it's the barbarian thing. It pulls them back. Oh, no, this one just stuns. And then she has Earthbreaker, which crushes the ground. Leaves a tremor that deals some damage and knocks down enemies. She can also do Whirlwind. I kind of like the idea of having her like a Whirlwind Barb. She enters Bloodthirst. 200% movement speed. Wow. And it grants us 10% attack speed. Okay, I, I like that because it's giving us a buff too. And then uh, we're going to go have uh, Subo as reinforcement now. If we... Oh. Wait. We could use a hand, eh? Oh, so you just get... So it's skill point, skill point, skill point, And then we get... 
additional legendary item will be offered. Oh, okay, so this is like some of the more end game mechanics of like the, the bartering. Cool. And so let's use the reinforcement. So he's going to use Molotov. So you have to level up the character, I guess, to get the benefit. So we're just going to use it on the basic attack so he can throw Molotovs. Cool. I actually think that the other character will be better. What is, what is the cooldown for this one, though? Oh, you can only withdraw reinforcement? Okay. So it is an 11-second cooldown. Because the other skill had way bigger AoE. I, I definitely wouldn't want Wire Trap. I'm going to actually run uh, this character as our reinforcement. Because, yeah, the AoE was just better. And I'm going to try this skill now, the uh, Wave, to see if it's just faster. Cool. Now we have our party ready. And now we're going to go over here to the next part of the main quest, which is Rescue Nairel. I'm wondering how close are we to finishing the, the game, too. And I, I know that there's going to be the Citadel for, like, endgame content, which is hopefully going to be a pretty big chunk. It looks like we're about halfway done, right? Uh, we also have this area over here, but yeah, about halfway, I would say. And what are we, about four hours in? So if we look at the campaign, maybe designed around eight-ish hours. Most games, that's kind of like the number that they try to shoot for. And that looks like that's about what this game is so far. But that's my estimation, which is fine. I think that that's a decent amount of time. Okay. Don't be. He was sick. You gave him a gift. Mercy. I didn't have it in me to do that for him. So, thank you. Now, tell me. Do you think you can do it again? What? I mean, Nairel. Oh, we have to fight Nairel. You really think she's been lost? No. Never saw the point of despair. But we'd be fools not to consider all the cards. She might still be fighting. She might not. Either way, she'll still need you. Focus on that, my friend. Come what may. You'll be there for her. Okay. So now we return to the Durance of Hate, which is over here. And we'll see if that fire wave is really good. And I have oh, there's the fire wave. Oh, it's so slow! <laughs> okay. We're swapping right off of that. Instantly swapping off of that thing. All right, let's go to mercenaries. Get the uh, storm of fire. All right. It's such low damage, though. To be honest, like overall. The way we took before is blocked. It's gotten worse in here. Oh. You've done well to come this far. Akarat. He's still here. A good sign Nerel is still holding on. Who's this stack? Uh oh. So we're gonna have more than I thought. I thought five stacks was max. There's probably an item that's giving us more. Maybe it's an aspect that I didn't pay attention to.
she was here before. Where's she gone? Gone with a wave of the paw. A miracle maker, just like the old myths say. Or the doctrine, if you ask the Zakharun. To tell you the truth, it wasn't by coincidence that I found your body floating down the river. It was him who sent me to you. Uh, resolve on kill is actually really good. Or is it, what is it, Viger, right? Or is it... Oh, it's, yeah, Viger on kill, okay. Oh, we have to have an ultimate on our bar for that thing to work. I just realized that. Dang. What does this one do again? That one's really good, too. I guess the only thing I could remove is, like, my mobility skill. If I wanted to add an ultimate at to our bar, we, we would have to remove this. Even though I kind of like the skill, it's going to be much more of a benefit for this because... Uh, we have to have the ultimate skill equipped. I actually do kind of like the ultimate too. It's kind of a more fun thing to activate once in a while. And we're going to get a bunch of movement speed later, so I'm not really Never too worried about I'd it. I would have the personal help of Akrat himself. Or rather, his spirit. Though I suppose mythical help is needed to face mythical evil. What did Mephisto tell you, anyway? Back in the fields. The reason why is because it gives us plus 30, he which is huge. It's one third of it. To let him out of the stone. Hell, he's done enough damage from inside it. I have to touch all of these or something? Oh, okay. We just got to speak to Akarat. Why are you helping us? Spoken so freely. It is beautiful to wander free of shame. I help you to help Nairel. Nahantu depends on her. <sighs> Say it plain, Eru. An honest question for an honest answer. It was she who brought the prime evil here to begin with. She who drew the hollows. The stone woke the hollows, but Mephisto planted them centuries ago. They were here when I still walked as a mortal, when I first fought and scarred the wolf, long before the fall of Kurast. The stone is bound to her soul, and the stone must be put to rest. Saving her soul will save all of us. Go. She needs you. Now. Alright. Well, let's go. Yeah, I like all these buffs. So this gives us basically dark shrouds. Just as long as we have it equipped. And then the other one gives us free dodge. As long as we have it equipped. And our attacks already have the ability to uh, leap towards the target. Wait, this is like... This is... Is this like a... Yeah, this is like the Durance of Hate. Like, like, like I'm from D2. Really, 
Really, really be so good. So cold. So long. I couldn't get the Guardian's blessing. But we think consuming its heart will free you. And Tarsarek, you asked me if anything I do matters. I've been thinking about what I said. But with good allies, the weight of our burdens gets easier. Hey, Ralph. <laughs> me. I'm here for you. <laughs> Just stick it on her forehead? Because there has to be some sort of boss. Oh, this is our big, big upgrade here. This is where we get to get to add this over here. Awesome. Escape. So we go back to Trev. And we have to speak with Nayrell outside. It's good to see you alive. I had words rehearsed in case you or Lorath ever tracked me down. All I can say now is I'm really happy to see you too. You did good in there. I had help. Thank you for that. Uh. I'm Eru, but don't thank me. Thank the spirit whose heart I carved out for you. It was a gamble and a half, but you made it worth it. You saddled the stallion. You're back on top of the stone. Now I have to ask, what the hell do you plan to do with it? A very good question. But its answer demands some research. Where's Nahantu's best library? To Kurast, then. Good. 
Whatever it is you're thinking, you'll need the Council's blessing anyway. Promise me you'll rest after? How could I? Every dream is Mephisto's stage. Once we deal with the stone, then I will rest. Okay, we're getting another level. Alright. So I think we were just gonna go and get this, and then we get extra damage, then we get the more even more damage. Alright, so rejoin Narel. That's crust. Oops. This is I think this is our favorite a, a spot anyways, okay. And then also we just had a level up with our NPC over here. And we can get uh you gain extra attack speed whenever she damages an enemy. Okay. I like that she can inflict cleave. It's an eleven second cooldown, but eh. If I get more attack speed, cool. It's going to basically buff us. I was hoping we'd get a chance to talk. Just us. Okay. I've been struggling with something. In hell, when we didn't know who to use the soul stone on. Why did you ask me? to choose between Lilith in my veins and Mephisto in my ears I couldn't trust myself but you could trust me a, a grieving child I got stuck I messed it all up I was our group's fist killing is my trade Donan was our stone mage Lorath our leader and you? You were a compass. Always looking north to Sanctuary and her future. Weighed by burdens, but not swayed by them. I'm sorry for putting that on you, but I don't regret it. Despite Mephisto's best efforts, you are still you. That alone is proof I didn't choose wrong. You think too highly of me. Next time, we choose together. All right, friend? Come on, they're waiting for us in the council room. Which I think is right over here. Yeah. What's this the plan? soul stone, like every other, will eventually come to fail. So we strengthen it. I've read of a massive well of energy stored in the lost tomb of Akarat. It could empower the stone, sever its bond to me, and trap Mephisto. For good this time. You would smear that field on the heart of Nahantu? Not Nahantu, the spirit realm. One of Akarat's dedicants writes of a passageway in the tomb to his true resting place, a vault of light where spirits fly. No. I was glad to help you. But I'm sorry. I can't let you defile Akarat's resting place. Eru, this was Akarat's plan. He has given his blessing. What? But... Why? This council will not stand against the wishes of Akarat. Short of dooming all sanctuary, no other plan has been proposed. There are tablets related to Akarat scattered about Teganze. Perhaps they might point the way to the tomb. Okay. We are allies. Oh, we're ready to continue. You wanted to see us. Okay. is an old city. You've seen the gardens and the cigarettes, but there are many older places beneath us. Ooh, feet. yes, the Undercity. Places no one goes. The Undercity. In good times, the Undercity is a bittersweet memory. These are not good times. People are going missing. 
We sent one of our own to investigate. Councillor Siek. Now he's gone missing himself. He's probably corrupted now. Thomas <laughs> wouldn't ask this of anyone else. Find Siek for us. Okay. Gotcha. So we got a quest to go find someone. Now this is a purple quest. What does a purple quest actually do? Um... It doesn't really say what we're getting with this, but uh, we will. Uh, do I want to do this one? What is it? It says it's a priority quest. So does that mean it's a main quest? So there's campaign and priority. I want to say priority probably gives you something. I'm going to, I'm not going to do all the side quests, but like the priority quests, uh, I'm pretty sure they also were the ones that gave us the, uh, the mercenary. So if we can get like an, another mercenary or some like sort of big power, I want to at least do this for the playthrough because it could matter. But since it's my first playthrough, I got no idea though if that's actually something that's in here or not. I am Siak, the council member of Kurast. Oh, he's not like dead or corrupted. Why would a council member come to this place? Because I am not simply a leader. I am a healer. A disease is spreading across Nahantu. You know it by its symptom. The dregs. Now they're here. In the depths of Kurast. If they spread further, the city will die a second death. I thought to cure the disease, but we shouldn't dawdle. Come. All right. That was a pretty fast quest. The eggs were human once. Now they are unrecognizable. Ah, so they're basically vessels of hatred. <laughs> so more than likely. I was thinking it was supposed to be like Nayrel. I wonder if... I misunderstood their affliction. Nayrel's going to be the final boss? Or if it's going to be Mephisto? I feel if they do Norel as the final boss, it'll be too similar to D3. You've helped me. It'd be interesting. And I must ask you to help me again. If uh, Lorath somehow, you should know something. Is like a is a boss Stand in the by. game too. Hold your nose, if you must. I tried to cure the dregs, but in the process, I was infected. I must continue the work. A cure must be found, or Kurast will die a second death. <sighs> you hear that? The venom on my tongue. That is what I am becoming. Malignance and malignity together. Meet me in Upper Kurast. Okay. Frustrated. What's the matter? Not all of my duties concern the dregs. I still have a responsibility to the people of Kurast to protect them, even when their problems are insignificant. A family reported a hunting in their home, likely imagined, but someone needs to deal with it, even if it comes at the cost of precious time. Meet me there. Like I said, meet me in Cross. Now meet me way over here now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's leading us on a wild goose chase. What is this one over here? Oh, movement speed increase. Oh, because we use that as our last skill. Maybe it has to be the last skill that we activate because it says all skills are also Jaguar, but then it doesn't change our um, attack speed 
because it should give us attack speed and movement speed if they do count as both. I do not care if it is your home or the home of Akrat himself. While you wretches sniffle, I work to save the city. And now you steal my time for what? A ghost of your own imagining? I... I'm sorry. I offer you sanctuary. Take your family to the council. Tell them Siak sent you. Ormus will find you a new home. That was the affliction, wasn't it? You sound like a different man. Yes, a different man. It doesn't matter. The sooner this is dealt with, the sooner we can return to our work. Search the home. Okay. So we're going to search the home now. <laughs> Why that? We gotta fight the evil chairs. <laughs> Something glints in the ash, a half-melted coin. Emblazoned with the land with the head of a bearded man, his eyes look into yours with all the love in the world. This table has been hacked to pieces. The remains of a homemade stew glisten on the floor. The serving bowl split right down the middle. I know that we saw some like magical uh, chairs. The haunting was real. Ghosts wearing exactly the robes. Room. Truly. Oh, perhaps I was wrong to doubt. This is a real threat. As real as the dregs and their affliction. We must act. There is a Zakarum shrine nearby. Look for signs of hauntings. I want to make sure they have not wandered far. Okay. So now we gotta go to the D-Face shrine. Kunin. But like, yeah, this game visually looks super impressive. Like, the fact that there's like all these like levels to it, probably was still one of the best looking action RPGs. So it seems like you are unable to do like double dipping in the like uh, conversion. Okay. Shiver not, sweet lamb. I see you. And so because of that, we may actually get a different one. Priestess of Travancore. And I offer you peace. She offers us peace, but then she summons the spirits to attack. Okay. Uh, one of the ghosts spoke to me, a priestess of Trauka, Alia. Alia, Kurast's end. If her ghost is abroad, it's for one reason. To finish what she began a century ago. You must venture into the Undercity and strike her down. She will rise again. She has many times before, but she will not venture to the surface for another decade at least. And thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue on this one. Communion with the spirit bizarre to open a portal to the... Okay. So it's a little like icon. 
Uh, traverse the undercity to reach its district boss before time runs out. A time expiration ends your run. Ah, so it's like a new mechanic. Kill afflicted monsters and destroy afflicted structures to earn time extension bonuses. Earn attunement by killing monsters and igniting beacons and grand beacons. Attunement rank one is required to earn powerful reward upgrades, higher attunement. Okay, so it's just like another way to get some extra rewards. Uh, open the portal to Undercity, rewards potentials, okay? So you can see over here it says the reward is enhanced loot. What is enhanced loot? I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and do this and see what it, what the heck is this mechanic. Um, hopefully we can get it done within a few minutes. The reason why I need to keep these under an hour, if I want to actually upload my playthrough on TikTok, oh, you need to do that. So, we'll see how far we go. Oh, there's se several floors, too. So, we definitely should take a mobility skill. Oh, I have to slay the monsters while lighting the beacon. Oh, okay. I thought I just had to lit it and then we could walk away. Does it pause? I don't think it pauses. Oh, okay. So this almost reminds me of the gauntlet where you have to collect like the, like, the orbs and stuff. About 14 seconds for killing that thing. To end the run, or does it go to it goes to the next level? Maybe okay. Just trying to understand how it works. Look, we're actually gaining time. So you need to get to a certain tier to get the upgrades. Okay. So now we have tier one. Okay. I mean, I do want to see what's at the very final tier, but what we're going to do is we're not going to try to get anything that has time anymore. I just want to try to end the run just so we can see what the rewards are. So yeah, we're going to focus in on that. Although that monster will grant us time. I just want this. 
Oh, it, it shot in the monster with time. Maybe we get to tier 2 for the item. Oh, got hit by the frozen. Okay, so this is the final floor. We'll see what's at the final floor and hopefully we can finish off this little run here. Ideally, we would kill the monsters to get more time, but I actually want the time to run out. Maybe once we get to tier 4, the run will end also. I am not positive. It's just, like I said, I have to keep these videos under one hour. Otherwise, I have to split the file, and I'm, I'm too lazy to d render out the file. <laughs> but they actually do a lot of damage. Oh, we got extra time on that one. There's no pausing in this area either. But it's pretty easy to do. Like the content doesn't seem like it's super overwhelmingly hard. Trying to see the map. But the, the the content is challenging enough. So what happens if we open up this? Oh, does it just show the rewards? Oh, it's the boss. Ah, oh, okay. We almost got the max rewards. I'm just trying to rush it so we can fit it in this time frame. I'm guessing we stand in the white one, and the red one does damage, but I'm not positive. Does this do damage to us? Oh, that's big damage. I got no more potions though. Trying to watch the time as well. Got her. All right, I gotta go ahead and end it for this part, but we're gonna resume ASAP uh, right when we see the drops. Woo! Okay, let's see what the rewards are on the next part.